Dear viewers, you are my greatest inspiration. You have supported me all these years. Your kind words of appreciation motivate me to keep making more videos. The esoteric dispute over wave-particle duality superseded the ancient views of the nature of light. When and how did the shift in balance of conception ensue? Wave nature versus particle nature of light, an electromagnetic wave, is an often cited century-old esoteric debate. Isaac Newton's corpuscular view continued to receive unanimous support. As the community of erudite scholars and academicians back then either surmised or conceded, as revealed in the publication excerpts. Eventually the substantial transformation, a sea change, transpired. By the 17th century, Christian Huygens, and then, since the 19th century, Thomas Young and Arthur Compton, turned out to be the three veritable instigators of the tilt in the balance of conception which emphatically shifted the description of light towards one side or the other. Later on, Louis de Broglie, who spoke so vehemently of matter wave, played a key role in unraveling the mystery. Tell you what. As it turned out, following the advent of the quantum world, in fact, there is no basic distinction between particle and wave. At my earlier lectures, in my quantum physics video lesson series, in my video tutorial channel, you have learned to perceive what quantum perception entails, how and when Max Planck's quantum theory ensued, how and when the term photon was introduced, and the historic inception of quantum mechanics. Now. This video lesson here, exclusively focuses on, why and how, dual wave particle nature, was hypothesized and deduced for electrons as well, in addition to Louis de Broglie's research, contributions, and award.
In this context I would like to mention that Louis de Broglie is the first person to receive a Nobel Prize on a PhD thesis. Now that we have reviewed a comprehensible and evident account in the history regarding the astounding roles, contributions, and works of Einstein and Planck, the two greatest geniuses of all time, and have demonstrated the link between as well. Let's take a look how the hypotheses and theories on light and photon led us to another challenging case of matter or electrons, as we reach the revered epoch of de Broglie from Einstein and Planck.
Planck and Einstein proposed that the wavelength of light is inversely proportional to its momentum. Light has momentum and energy, and it has a wave-like property. From this notion, Louis de Broglie postulated that matter also has momentum and energy. So perhaps it also has a wave-like property. Scientists were still skeptical about how both matter and light are somehow both waves and particles, simultaneously having variables like wavelength, which is a wave property, as well as momentum, which is a particle property. At first glance, dual nature is absurd and impracticable. This seemingly implausible concept is referred to as the wave-particle duality.
Here I will take the liberty of employing an excellent analogy to comprehend wave-particle duality. Imagine a cylinder. At one cross-section, its geometric projection would be circular, whereas at the other cross-section, its projection on the screen would be rectangular. But then again, one way or the other, it's both. One perspective alone cannot completely describe the cylinder. In fact, it's both together. Ready lecture notes and study materials are available on request. Please use the comment section below for further academic discussions. Viewers' suggestions and ideas of new video lesson topics are gratefully appreciated. Stay tuned for more uploads. Please remember to like, subscribe, share 